In today's video, I'll be teaching how to build a custom frame to use in Canva with the help of Affinity. I did a similar video previously using Adobe Illustrator, but most Canva users don't have Illustrator. But you have Affinity now, so let's dive in. So what is a frame first of all? Basically, a frame is another shape that frames an image, like you would have a frame on a wall. So let's head over into Canva and let's have a look at it in action. Head over to the Elements tab on the left hand side and then scroll down below you will see Frames. Click on Frames and you will see all the Canva frames. These are all designed by Canva. These are standard frames. You cannot customize them. So let's click on one of them. So that is the, the frame. You can size it up and down. Right? But you can't edit the frame, the shape of the frame. So what do frames do? You can actually take an image and drag the frame in there. Double click on the image, you could size the image. So this is the use case of a frame, very handy. So let's head over into Affinity and see how we build these custom shapes inside Affinity, inside proper design software. So uh, what I did was I created an artboard, just a blank artboard, and also went ahead and downloaded abstract vector shapes. These are all vector based, so I, I'll copy one of them. I'll take this blue one, I'll and I will paste this on the new artboard. Let me just resize this. So this is a completely vector element. And then the next step would be to go to file, place, find any image in your folders, bring that in and paste that. So first of all, I will paste that above your vector shape. So what you do is in the layers panel on the right hand side over here, you have the, the vector shape, you can either place it below the curve or you place it inside the curve, that is actually what we want. So now that we have it inside the curve, the actual image is irrelevant. We just need an image inside the vector shape. This is actually the main trick. So with that selected, so we select that vector shape with the image inside and we head over to the right hand side corner here and we get the drop down menu for the export settings. Make sure that you go all the way down and you click on PDF. So I, I clicked on PDF. I chose high quality. I don't think this matters. And then what you do is you export that. So we're exporting an image inside a vector shape as a PDF. So now that we let's let's do that one more time and save that as curve. I'll just say I'll save it as curve. Okay. So now we go back into Canva and go to your home and try to upload that file. So now we have this curve here, so we will drag this in and wait for that to upload. Now that we have that new shape uploaded, click on it and that shape will open up in Canva. So let's make sure it opens up correctly. Now we have this shape in Canva that we created in Affinity. So if you pull the shape, you'll see that there's another vector shape behind it. We can kill that. Then bring this back onto the artboard. And then what you do is while clicking on the shape, having it selected, click on delete. And like that, you have a custom frame design made out of another shape. So you can either create your own shape using the pen tool or some other method, or you can download custom vector shapes from the internet. So let's test this. Go into the photos tab and let's pull that same image we had before. And like that, we have that in the custom shape directly from Affinity into Canva. And we have that solution. So double click on the image. We can move things around. And just like that, we have a custom shape. 